Okay, right. So what we have right now is a situation where we're trying to activate an equalization on an Outback FM60 or an FM80, it doesn't matter. Always, when you get into Outback, you need to press the two buttons here simultaneously and you get into a menu. If you observe, there's a, there's a small arrow that you can move around these two corresponding central uh, buttons. So I can move around back and forth. I'm going back now and I'm back at EQ. EQ is the one you want to go to. You want to make an equalization. This is a 12 watt battery bank, so we have 12 watt settings for it. We go in and we say enter, which is go for some reason on Outback. Here we go. First thing you get is the voltage. Now I set this one because of the type of batteries for 15.2. You have to check with your battery manufacturer, but you can plus or minus the voltage here. So I can actually set it up or down. And incidentally, you may be asked for a password. The password is always 141 for all Outback equipment. So if you get prompt with a password, use the plus and minus to get to 141, press enter, and now you can change your settings. So 15.2, I go next, and then we have the time. Depending on your battery type, if your batteries are new, two hours is enough. Otherwise, let's say three hours is probably better. As they get older, you want to equalize them for longer. Uh, and if you are in the tropics or somewhere where it's warm, take a holiday when it's summer because it gets too warm. You won't, don't want to do it once you get to above 25 degrees centigrade in ambient temperature on the batteries. It is simply destructive. So we just started an equalization here. So I haven't really done it yet. So now we go two hours. I say next and next one. It tells you what it's going to do. Two hours, 15.2 volt. Check water level, well that's sensible isn't it, because if it was nearly dry you don't want it to uh, to run out because it will gas and lose water. Next you have auto, start and stop. Personally I do not like auto, you can press it to see, you can put an interval and you can actually plus and minus days and say let's say 30 days, which is a common way to equalize a household battery store. Uh, automatically it will start every 30 days. But what if you had a day of high consumption the day before or the day that it starts? simply due to a clock saying now I need to do it, you got overcast weather. That means you get stuck halfway through an equalization and that's downright destructive for your batteries. You do not want to do that. So I don't like auto. Thank you Outback. This is what I'm going to do. Check the water level. Start, stop. We go start. Now you see this one go back and sweep. Take another wake up sequence and it will click in with a relay and in a minute you will actually see the, the reaction down in the batteries. Once it gets to it, you can actually see very clearly here if it's possible to see, you see them start popping and gassing nicely because they're already fully charged. You can even hear the sound, slight hissing, popping away as they should. Mm. Okay, thank you.